Hi, I'm Pavel Spechalski and in today's video let me show you how to utilize the programming framework of the INAV or any other uh, OpenTX or really any transmitter, radio transmitter with a switch and the VTX enabled with Smart Audio or Trump protocol to be able to change the VTX output power on a switch without well having to go into any kind of the configuration so the goal of the today's tutorial is to be able to set vtx power with a switch using INAV and bear in mind that although I will be using the development builds of the INAV 2.6 the procedure is basically almost exactly the same. The only difference is that instead of using only logic conditions like I will be showing you you will have to utilize both the logic conditions and the global functions but that's really the only difference. So let's go. In. The, the requirements for today's tutorial is that you have to assign a switch. I assign the switch SA on my Radio Master TX16S to one of the channels of the radio with the mixer. I will not cover this right now because this is such a obvious procedure that you can easily find any tutorial and probably you already know how to do it with your OpenTX radio that we will just not do it today. Everything that we will do today is inside of the INAV configurator. Once you will open the INAV configurator and uh, connect to the flight controller itself, we will have to set actually one thing as the prerequisite for the whole procedure. In the ports, you have to verify that one of the ports is configured as either Smart Audio or Trump Protocol so that INAV can communicate with your VTX. I have the Smart Audio connected to serial port 5, so I'm going to just save it, reboot, and now we can continue with the further steps. Because in INAV there are no extra steps for configuring uh, smart audio, there is definitely nothing like the VTX tables. The next step, we should go to the receiver tab and check to which channel the, our switch is connected. In this example, in this radio, it's connected to the channel 6 and we will use the channel 6 as the input for the whole programming framework. So, from the beginning, our goal is to have three power possibility to set three different powers with the switch. Let's then configure three uh, logic conditions as low, mid and high that will be enabled when RC channel 6 is either on top or mid, the switch actually, or low position. And after saving the logging conditions, you will notice that one of the dots over here is blue. And when I start switching the switch, they are changing. This blue dot tells you which logic conditions is right now enabled. The next step. In INAV 2.6, you will do it inside of the logic conditions view. In INAV 2.5, you will have another tab over here called global functions. But with INAV 2.6, we just do it everything here. Now we have to enable three overrides that will be activated by the switch. And the overrides will be setting the VTX power level. So let's just set VTX power level, VTX power level and VTX power level. Uh, where's the third one? VTX power level. And uh, now, now the power levels are really a number from one to four or one to five, depending on the implementation. In this example, the top position of the switch will be the lowest power level, the mid position of the switch will be higher and the down position will be the highest 
uh, power level. And for those three power level overrides, we will have to set activation as logic condition 0, logic condition 1, and logic condition 2. Now, let's save. And after we will start switching the switch, you should notice that the the blue dot on one of the power level is light up for a fraction of a second. This is correct. This is why the power level override is executed only once after you change the value. And this is fine. This is expected to behave like that. And that, my friends, is basically all you have to do to have the power level on the switch with the help of the INAV and any other radio. It can be OpenTX, it can be FlySky, really anything you really want. Like I mentioned at least a few times uh, during those last few minutes, the procedure from the user perspective is slightly different for the INAV 2.5 and the future INAV 2.6. However, the names and the, the, the progress and the information of how the, the procedure is exactly the same, only in case of the INAF 2.5, you will have to use the subtab called the global functions to configure the overrides, not the logic conditions, like it's happening in the INAF 2.6. And that basically is everything you have to know about the topic. By the way, if you would like to change the band on, or the channel with a switch, uh, it's really exactly the same procedure. You only have to choose different override, not the VTX power level, but for example, VTX channel. And now finally, I would like to thank all my Patreon and YouTube supporters for their backing. If you are not one of them, then please consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month. And until the next one, bye bye.